Today's show is all about choice, and I know a lot of you find yourselves in front of the computer confused over which solution is best for your body. There's so much information online, it can be hard to tell. I, I feel your pain. So today, another edition of the very popular Fix My Search is on our show. And this time, we're going to cut through the web clutter to tell you which at-home heartburn solutions really work and which ones aren't worth your time. The bet is here. Now, my producers say you are an uber searcher. You're looking all the time for stuff. Do you see this? Is that... This is, this is six years worth of searching, <laughs> trying to find the cure. And all I find is, you know, a lot of advertisement for pills. I don't want to take pills. So, I, so let's talk about your heartburn for a second. These are all the heartburn solutions you're looking okay. for. What have you done that works for it? How, how frequent does it happen? At least two to three times a week, mm -hmm. sometimes so painful that I think, like, maybe I should be going to the doctor. But I don't, because I then just pop a little pill. That makes but it I, I don't, better. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So come on then. So I'm going to walk you through some solutions here. What time of day do you normally get your heartburn? Um, probably like after lunch. After lunch? After lunch. All right, so that's a clue. That's, by the way, what comes in handy. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through some of the, the solutions you found that were particularly prominent if you were to normally search, you know, reflux or indigestion or whatever. And then I got my osmometer. Oh. We're just going to grade each of these ideas and then we're gonna explain why they're the way they are. All right, so we're gonna start with the first one. The first one is all about, it gets for heartburn, severe acid reflux, it's all about eliminating carbonated beverages. Have you seen that written on different message boards? Uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, that's one of my downfalls. You like carbonated beverages? I do. How often do you drink them? Sometimes three to four times a week. Just before lunch, usually? With lunch. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right after I eat carbonated beverages, I have pain. All right, so for, that's an interesting observation a lot of folks are making online. So you hold that for one second. In fact, you know what? Let me hold this because you're going to need your hands. Oh. It's a little demonstration. We're going to discuss carbonated beverages, uh, and I'm going to explain to you how I feel about them. Do you think they work as a... Uh, do you think, first of all, do you think they cause your heartburn? They can't be helping, but they do taste good sometimes. So... All right, let's put the osmometer up there. It turns out that it mm, burns the bus, but there it is. It might work. Might work? Yes. Wow. And here, so that's why it's worth paying attention to. I'm gonna explain why. This is so important, folks, because you wanna customize these ideas to you. Everyone walks in there thinking, well, it makes intuitive sense as a problem, but if you actually exp experiment it with it, it might not be as clear. So this is the average intestinal system, right? There's your swallowing tube, there's your mouth up here, there's your stomach, that little pink thing. Go ahead and put some plain water in there. When you put plain water through your mouth to the swallowing tube into your stomach, it puts a little bit of distension into the stomach. Pour it in there as fast as you can. Do as fast as you can. The stomach fills up. Then you have a sphincter. If you haven't spilled it, there's a sphincter. And that sphincter keeps what's in your stomach from going back up again. It's the going back up again that causes the problem. All right, now, this time we've got carbonated water. Again, pour it as fast as you can in there. I'll put my little thing on over here. Pour it as fast as you can. There we are. There we are. Now, watch what happens to this stomach. Carbonated water distends stomach. See this water stomach, small, carbonated stomach, big, and getting bigger. Now, here's the problem. Yeah. People deal with this distension differently. Some folks have no problem with it. They push it down. For them, it's not an issue. Other people, well, you ever get the sensation after lunch? Yeah, that's, oh, that's that it. Burping? Yeah. Right. So if you have to burp, if, if the acid has to come back up again, that's gonna give you reflux. For you, it's a problem. For the rest of the folks, it's not a problem. So it might help, it might not help. You gotta try that one and see what makes a difference for you. Okay, All right, we'll let's do that. Hold on. The second idea, it's a very old remedy. It said to sleep on a bed with a pillow or with the bed headstand up so that you're at a little bit of an angle. So go ahead and lie on that. Now you read about these ideas as well. Yeah, this is just not very comfortable. Not comfortable, is no, it? No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, sleep like this. So I have a hybrid. I have an idea. First of all, let's put it in the osmometer. In the osmometer, this absolutely does work. Oh and boy. it makes sense why it works, because the gravity is pushing the acid down. It can't go back up and, and burn your swallowing tube. But these pillows I don't like much. First of all, they're not comfortable. Second, no. you roll off them. Right. You know what I do? I put the headstand up a little bit. Put two thick books underneath the headstand or, or wooden blocks. When you put a little bit of an angle in the mattress, just a little bit, just the gravity is enough to push the acid down. That, my friend, will work for you. If you tell me it's gonna work, I believe you. Well, this okay? one you're gonna prove. And, and I'm gonna come back 
I'm going to come back and tell you if it works. I got it. Okay. Becky, what are you going to do? You're going to do it right now, and we're going to post this immediately so people don't have to even wait for you to come back. Okay. We'll know if it works or not. <laughs> Listen, the best, you can sit up there. The best tip I can give anybody is try these ideas. Customize them to yourselves. There's no simple fixes. No one who's posting an idea on the web is going to know who you are exactly. But the ideas are often worth trying out. So thank you for doing all the search with us. I will right. try. We'll thank be right you. Back. on our phones, even dating. But any woman will tell you that you can't judge a book by his cover photo. So what about food? Same thing may apply there. Can you tell what's a good choice just by the way it appears? What do you guys think? We're gonna find out today. We wanted to find if your favorite snack had a dating profile, right? Would you swipe right to get the romance going or would you swipe left to break it up. Renata has become one of my go-tos for all things food and diet, and she's here to try everything out. And she happens to be an expert on many things besides food. So this is sort of like Tinder. I'm not, I'm not on Tinder. I don't know, do you have any experience on the site? Dr. Oz, hello, yes. <laughs> you don't know what Tinder is? Yes. Tinder is uh, very popular for dating. And of course, you know, this, you said this was a dating show, so I had to come cute, okay? You are cute. Absolutely, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Tinder is, if you like what you see, you swipe uh, right, and if yep. you don't like what you see, you swipe left and get rid of it. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna give you snack profiles as if they were on Tinder. I want yep. your audience to play along with me. We gotta decide if you would take the bait on these things or not. The first profile is kettle cooked potato chips. Okay. Let's see what these are about. Here's, a, here's the profile, right? Mm -hmm. Nice picture, by the way. We can cuddle up together yes. with a good movie. Mm -hmm. I'm more sophisticated than the other chips. I've been told I look healthier, too. Mm, sounds good. Do you think they look healthy? Why do folks think that? They do look healthy. Well, um, I mean, come on now. Crunch, it gives a good crunch yes, with, with the um, kettle chips. Um, I mean, it's a good snack at night you want to cuddle up with. Absolutely. So, yes, I would swipe to the right you, for you the like kettle them. chips. Yeah. Audience, what do you guys think? Would you guys swipe right or left? <laughs> They're, they're with their hands pushing out. They're, they're, they like kettle chips. All right, so go ahead and swipe it right. You're gonna take it yep. that way. Mm -hmm. And it turns out, here's the information you should know. There you go. You gotta get into the details. 160 calories, mm -hmm. nine grams of fat, two grams of protein. That's, that sounds good. You know what, this is sort of like a guy who's got a really fancy car, but you're not quite sure if they can pay the bills. <laughs> so, you know, and I don't want that, you don't Dr. Want that. Rob. It might be okay, <laughs> it might not, we're not sure. Okay, okay. now we get, you got a, a little flow for this. Okay, let's take on granola. That's the second profile. All right, let me just read it first. Then I'm okay. going to ask you if you like granola. All right. I tend to be a little nutty at first, but I'm super sweet. People say I'm pretty healthy. I'm definitely the outdoorsy type. Mm. Granola, outdoorsy. Do you eat granola very often? I, I do eat granola, but not a lot, because I know it can be a bamboozler, just like some of these men out here. Uh -huh, yes. On Tinder. Yes. Okay? That yeah. happens all So, yeah, granola, I, I think, is, is go I'm going to swipe le swipe left for before granola. Before you toss it out yeah. the window, this mm -hmm. is like our audience smartest on television. Okay, Let's all right. get their opinion. What do you guys feel about granola? Right. They all like granola. Are you okay. stick uh -oh. <laughs> you're a strong-willed woman. You're gonna stick to your guns on this. You're going to continue sticking, the romance. I'm sticking to my guns. So you're going to break it off with granola. I'm breaking it off with granola. Granola is a bamboozler. All right, let's find out. That's right. 226 uh, calories. What did I tell you? Yeah, sure. Right. You're right. You're, you're right, Renata. Okay. And only two grams of protein. <laughs> You ought to be careful out there. I tell you, granola looks good, looks outdoorsy, but it's more of a couch potato. Mm. Be thoughtful about that. Next yeah. profile is a very popular one, movie theater popcorn. Why don't you read this for everybody? Okay. They're, I, they're salivating as we read hmm, these. Let's see. I may start off simple, but when things heat up, I really come out of my shell. You can't just have one of me. Mm, he sounds like a something. He sounds like something. <laughs> So what is it that makes that popcorn taste so good in the movie theaters? It's the butter. It's the, the butter. butter. Yes. Mm. Coat your tongue. I mean, salivate, mm, salivating. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then you got movie theater butter. I mean, that's the best one. But of course, I'm sure he's probably, he, he, I didn't call him he. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I called the popcorn he. Okay, no. <laughs> but uh, mm, no, I don't think so. You don't I, think so? Yeah. What do you guys, audience? Ahead. You love popcorn too? <laughs> oh, we're getting a lot of no's. Let's see if there's right. They sort of knew. So, ah! Mess. 664 counts. No, mess. no, he's a no, yeah. no. Not, not just stats <laughs> of the movie theater popcorn. Right. Here, you know, this, this is, what you, you know what you want to do with movie theater popcorn? You want to divorce movie theater yeah, popcorn get and rid of bring him. your own from home. Right. That's what you want to do. Because he's making me fat. And right. I don't want that. No, we don't want that at all. <laughs> so let's turn around okay. with the last option here. This profile is of 
pistachio, pistachio. chips. Mm. Go ahead and read this one, too. You'll be okay. good Okay, he could be a trickster, too. Let's see. I'm just <laughs> your type. And I get it cracking. You can never get enough of me. Mm, I'm, you, baby. Okay, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely, he, he's absolutely right. Lord, why am I calling the food? He. Okay. It's attractive. <laughs> it's got the whole package. But yeah, pistachios are good, but not good for me. Mm -mm, not good so for he you. goes left. Audie, do you think that's right? Left or right? <laughs> they want to go right. I'm, 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 you going to stay loyal or are you going to? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stick to my guns. Pistachios, nuts, mm, can be oily, uh, all that kind of stuff. Right, well, right? Let's yeah. find out pistachios' okay. true colors. That's why we're playing the game. Right, mm -hmm. True colors are a lot Bam. of calories. Ho, 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 ho. Here's the deal. Here's okay. The deal. 562 calories, 20 grams 20 of protein. Gra yeah. Uh, here's the, even though okay. they're high in calories, okay, okay, they're okay. so loaded with the good fats, so loaded with the protein, they help your cholesterol, your heart. All right. You know what? You ought to settle down with pistachios. Mm. That's okay. a long-term relationship I'm we're going talking about. I'm a few more dates with Pistachio. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. Thank you for being here. Remember, Thank you. when you choose what's best for yourself, your body thanks you in all sorts of great ways. Mm. Love you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.